one of the biggest frustrations currently with these no code applications is how do I monetize it? How do I make money off of it? How do I allow people to, you know, pay for the subscription and how can I take payments? Stripe is probably the most common way and it's integrating Stripe that is the frustration which I have figured out and I'm going to share that with you. So how do we set up Stripe? You come to Lovable, you're in your application and you say help me set up Stripe. Simple as that. It will then do a check of what requirements for setting up Stripe you have accomplished and which ones you haven't. It will give you this checklist format. So super base project is set up so if you want to create a super base project, set that up and then authentication is implemented. You've got authentication, you've got user accounts, you've got profiles in that super base backend, it's all sorted. Now it's the Stripe side of things. Stripe accounts and product setup, Stripe secret key, Stripe price ID for the subscription. All right, so what did I do? I gave it a product ID. How do you get a product ID? Come to Stripe, set up an account, takes a little bit of time. You can do it in 30 minutes, but you know, it's fairly laborious to do in this video. Once you've got an account there, come to your main dashboard and then toggle test mode on. Make sure that test mode is on because we're gonna be doing some tests here. Then come down to transactions, say create payment, create a payment link. Come to the product and we're gonna say create a new product. We're gonna give it a name. So here, AI virtual training because that is our project. You can choose for it to be a recurring payment or a once off payment. So in this case, it's gonna be recurring month to month and let's make it $15 a month AUD because I'm in Australia, but you can choose any currency. Then you're gonna go say add product. Once you've added your product, you'll see it will pop up. This is what the preview page will look like, which is great, say create link. Once you've created your link, you're gonna to come to this page here. These are, these are your products, the one we just created, click on that come into your product, you're gonna have your pricing, click on your pricing, and then in the top right corner here, you're gonna have a price ID. Lovable needs this price ID in order to accomplish what it needs to accomplish. So click on that, copy your ID. Come to um, Lovable, add in your product ID. In this case, I called it a price ID, but product ID, and just paste it in there. It will then pick that out. And then what you'll do is it will talk about an API. You'll need to get your API keys. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna to come to Stripe, come to developers, go to API keys. Once you clicked on API keys, it will bring up your API keys. I don't wanna bring this up, else you'll get access to my API keys and see it. But click on API keys and you can then create an API key and you get a secret key that you can copy out. You just copy that to, you just copy that and you then paste it into Lovable. So you add, once you've done that, you'll get a little box on, on Lovable that you can input your API keys and your API secret phrase or, or, or code into that so it can link to Stripe. So once it's done that, then it will load up Stripe and it works. So in order for it to work, this is a key point. You need, you can't in this dashboard here, use Stripe. So you can't go here and say upgrade to premium. If I click on upgrade to premium here, you'll see it loads this and that's it. It doesn't actually load Stripe. You can see it's powered by Stripe. You can see it's the page, it's like trying to load, but it doesn't. So let's just reload that. So what we need to do is you need to come to publish and you need to publish or you need to deploy your app. So if we say redeploy, it takes a little bit of time, but once this is up and running, okay. So it's deployed, as you can see, I got our link here. If we click on that, we're gonna copy our link now and we're going to actually load it into an incognito page just so that we can you know, easily show how this is all working. So load our incognito page, let's load a link. It will bring us to our sign up page. So let's go, uh, let's do our test three. Let's put our password in. Alrighty, so now we've got that here, upgrades premium. And there you go, it loads our Stripe page. So in this case, we are going to um, input our card information. So in this case, we've got, if you use 42424242 across the entire thing, these are the um, test codes that you can use. You can just access it, access it on Stripe and you can get a whole bunch to use. But if you just on this video, you can use 4242 and then you obviously just set it as anything in the future for the ex expiration date. So 0430 and then CVVC is just three digits. We can call this test and then we click subscribe.
Okay, cool, it's processed and it's coming back to our page now. Alrighty, so we're back in our page here and you can see that we now have a premium status instead of upgrade to premium and our page has actually been loaded. I've also gone and added in a couple of items here so we can go through it just to show you how the app works in of itself. But that is how Stripe works and you can take payments. It picks up that that user is now premium and it gives them access to our little support bot. So that's the video. If you guys got some benefit out of it, one thing I do ask is if you can like and subscribe on this video, comment down below what you are building. I'd love to hear and your likes and subscribes obviously go really far to show me, you know, carry on doing these videos and it just helps the channel more than you know. There's about 95% of you that are watchers but do not subscribe. So if you do watch the channel or if you found this video useful, like and subscribe, it will be massively helpful. And I thank you guys so much.